Hello. Hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm in a Lumens Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Today what I want to talk to you about is the current energy that we're in now that we are past 1111 and we are past the full moon. And uh, I want to give you some of the broader picture here because some of you are already feeling it. You're getting very adept at moon energies and other types of energies. So what I'm calling this is, this is the time for the reset and reboot. And this has been a large purpose of a lot of the retrograde energy this year. Even though Mars went direct, what we are seeing currently in the world, and it's been several countries, things that are happening in these countries, such as Brexit, such as the United States presidential election. This is the last of that old, ancient Mars energy. And you can't always go by, you know, where does it fall on someone's natal chart? Where is it happening? It's, there's things that are still finishing. Because there's been a lot. And it's been here. It's been very threaded into things. And yet, what is, it, this doesn't just mean masculine energy. A lot of people call the Mars energy masculine energy. Or they'll, you know, there's, there's even things out there that say men are from Mars, women are from Venus. However, that being said, these have been prevalent heavy energies, uh, the predominant energy of certain planets. And yet, it's still old. So what I want to talk to you about today is many who have engaged will now find the time to reset. And this is going to be a lot of you blue rays. It's also going to be rest and recuperation time. So reset, rest, that means catch your own energies up, recuperate. So because you're flat out of energy does not always mean that you are that you're doing something wrong or that your twin is doing something wrong. It's important to know when it's time to recuperate because some of this can feel like you're driving a truck through the middle of the night and you have white line fever, but you've got to get to your destination. You're driving and driving and driving and pushing and pedal to the metal and then your energy just sort of stops. You need time to recuperate. Give yourself a chance here for recuperation if you feel that. Now, this is, this is where there's been sort of a divide out there because some people have done all of the things necessary to set this up, to help, and they will need recuperation time. However, what they have established is what other people need to take the action on. So those who will now be who they came to be are finding out, and there's a lot more to it that have to do with your body. All of your middle physical parts, your energetic bodies, your subtle bodies, your chakra, your causal body. And a lot of my videos have been leading up to this point to lead you through it because that's what I teach. This is my specialty is teaching about the body. Those of you who will now be are finding this out. The, ser the Royal Illumin Angelic Seraphim Anophonum will now be picking up speed. Now that the end of the Mars cycle has concluded, the doors to the past can and will close permanently. But what does it mean? What that means is energy. Energy, um, let me give you for an example. You work in an office and there's someone in your office who's just really heavy energy. And every time they come to your cubicle, your body screams, they are invading my space. They're in my space. Oh my God, get it off, get it out, get it everywhere out of me. And yet, you can't look at that person and say, what did you do to me? They're still working there. You might see them every single day. You can't become angry because that would really be 
even more rational than trying to explain how your energetic bodies are picking up on this and telling it to you. That's a key difference, ladies and gentlemen, is that now your body is going to be telling you things if it hasn't already. For a lot of you, it has been. And I have some good news for you because some of you who feel like your energies have been flung way out there and every last person is stepping on, you had one nerve left and everybody is standing on that one frayed nerve and you want to scream and you can't, you know, go into certain situations because it's just problematic for you. You wind up purging or clearing a lot more than you know is than you really want to and more than you know should be necessary. You want to get your life back to some sense of normalcy. Some of you have actually been in a situation where you've continued to see your own twin engaging or re-engaging and doing the same old things. Da -da 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 -da, and you're watching them on a hamster wheel or a treadmill and saying, I have really expected you to get off of that. And I will stay to still say to you, the key to it is on the inside. Don't get mad. Get everything. In the words of Ivana Trump, Ivana, not Ivanka, Trump, don't get mad, darling. Get everything. You want everything that belongs to you to come back to you, don't you? Like, give me this back, give me that back, hand it back, hand it over. Come on now. You've borrowed it since we were on Mars. You've had several cycles of that. Please give it back. Please. I'm not going to ask nicely anymore. I'm just going to firmly say it. Give it back. But conversely, some people are finding that their guidance is, well, you can have what it looks like you see going on over there. It's about choices because you have to feel into that what exactly is going on. What is being concluded here? So, we're getting, if you haven't already, the door to the past will be closed permanently. Permanently. Also, you are getting all false, parasitic, vampiric people, organizations, and even groups off of you. That's right. And you're not doing this in the old Mars energetic way, which is to have a fight, an argument, a battle. We're not going to war over it. So what, are, what some of what you see out in the public arena Things like Brexit, where there's so such high emotions on both sides. Things like um, what we've just had here in the United States, there's such high emotion. We should do this and we should do that. And so many things are, are coming out of people's mouths and they're spilling it out and vomiting it right in front of you. Does get some of this parasitic stuff off. But how do you then get away from it? That is what I teach through the body. So I have a couple of examples here because I found right now it's autumn and we're about to head into winter here in the northern hemisphere. And this is a pivotal time, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, the time that precludes the turning of the season, the turning of the wheel, and what are you choosing? So I have this as an example. This is a lovely little maple tree, which actually, unfortunately, was um, embedded by a rock. So I had to um, take it because, as you can see, the life was being strangled out of it anyway. The tendrils of some parasite, some parasitic vine, were hanging onto it and were tethering it to the fence and talk about between a rock and a hard place. It's amazing that this little guy even survived as long as it did. And so what you're going to find, I don't know if you can see it there, but this is, this is twined. And this is what some of you have had. You've had energetics twined 
through and around your organs. It leads to diabetes, hypoglycemia, fibromyalgia, nerve issues, um, poor circulation in your extremities, neuropathy, feet, fingers, organs, especially in the sexual area or at the root. And I want to tell you what I found with this vine in the no man's land between the neighbor's house and mine, the part that belongs to the utility company. Here is another plant. This is how this gets. Look at that. T completely twined around. You can see here, here's another what once was a healthy bush, completely twined with this insidious parasitic thing. And, and it just winds around it. I mean, in order to get this off, it, it pulls out like this. And it really takes something. So this thing is being suffocated. This is what has been happening throughout lifetimes, is that sometimes the parts of you, your cosmic connections, the parts of your true love are being, having the life sucked out of it through something like this. So if, as you've been told, you have everything in you, you're a strong little seed that, because I've actually said that, you're a strong little seed that has all the DNA in you and you're going to sprout and you're be going to become as tall. This is a silver maple. These things will grow 70, 80 feet tall. And yet it's going to get nowhere if it's pulled down to the ground. And I, want, I have two more things to show you. This is the root. How does that look, ladies and gentlemen? How are you getting yourself unrooted? How are you getting the dead wood? Are you doing an inventory of your life and getting the dead wood out of your life? This too had the twine. It couldn't, it couldn't even, it was so dead it couldn't even support the parasite anymore. Getting the parasites out. I literally kicked this out with my foot. I needed absolutely no shovel for this. But I wanted it out when I saw it. Because this, ladies and gentlemen, this is the dry rot that occurs. And you're here to bring the love in, to come to life again, to allow and enable yourself to live, and not just live, to thrive, to be abundantly alive alive and well and thriving, not taking a gazillion medications, not having to go for a gazillion therapies, although there are multiple modalities and therapies that will help you get to that point. There are things that I teach. In fact, thank you to everyone who joined my web abundance webinar because um, it's now available. There was one I previously did called Being in the New Life that would be very helpful for this time. How many people are able to do the inventory? Some people have been simply surviving. If, however, you've been getting a signal that says to you, hey, try another soulmate. Maybe you feel like you need a hug and a kiss. And a lot of people do need a hug and a kiss. Your cells are coming alive. They want the hug and a kiss of your twin flame. However, some people might conveniently have someone nearby. Even that, you have to ask yourself then, who then is, you know, whose person are, are you maybe taking away from being free? How are you not leaving yourself free and open? What if you're in a situation such as a relationship or a marriage? and you want to be free, and yet there's children. And the children need things. The children need education, health care. They will need clothing. They will need food. All of their basic needs, you're still expected to meet. And this is a lot of the old Mars energy, too. What old mentality? What about being married makes people 
you know, does it feel right? Because I can attest to this that when I was married, my energies left that relationship. I didn't understand it all at the time. But I wanted to sleep in a separate room. Also, I didn't really want certain touch. Paradoxically, I wanted to be touched. And, you know, these are the proportions that this takes on where you want to be touched, but it's not the right touch. It's not the person. It's not the person your heart really wants. Your heart has already shown you who it is. And it's important to acknowledge that and to at least be honest with yourself. It's not easy to be honest with the people around you right now. Not everyone is in a situation where they can say, God showed me my true love and I am sticking with that person. Many times it gets criticized, big time. You get criticized. You get asked about it. Or people will, you know, say something about it. I talk about that in this webinar. I talk about the what ifs. What ifs? What if, what about the rest of the world? And I say, just say no to 3D. Just say no. Just say no to 3D. Not easy because you've got to get yourself unrooted from here, get the deadwood out, and get so that your little tree can thrive. You have to get the things off of the head, off of what you've been told. You know, along with this, we're addressing things like slavery, being enslaved, being a slave to other people, fighting for king and country, fighting for the queen, fighting for some cause that is someone else's economic interest. I mean, we're not, we don't have these things hidden anymore. It's been exposed. That's what happens also with these retrograde energies. It gets exposed. The frauds, the corruptions, the truth gets exposed. However, how do you get it out? How do you get it off of you? How do you get it out of your organs, out of the mind, out of the head, out of the eyes? All of the things that you've seen. Because the post-traumatic stress disorders that people suffer from will be from those lives where they fought for some cause. And sometimes it was to defend your country because someone else made a stupid decision or they made an emotional decision. That is one of the things about twin flames is that we are emotional people. We feel. We feel emotions. We have huge hearts. And yet, how do you balance that? So this Mars energy along with the Pluto Uranus, which is the thinking, analyzing uh, parts that we've, we've had, are coming up here. They're all coming into play and balancing. You're balancing feminine tuition with masculine action, masculine and feminine action, the fire. Now, there was something else that happened back in March. We had a beautiful, gorgeous day here, which doesn't always happen in March. And it was uh, a little bit before the March equinox here. And it was just one of these w wild, free days where anything could happen. And I went to my local store, and there at the store was this truck. I don't know if you can see it there. The Wienermobile. And this may sound really strange, because I said, I just went and there it was. I had no idea it was going to be there. And you can see it's a very goofy, fantastical version of a hot dog on a car to promote a hot dog company. Okay, But when I took that home, and I had to feel into this because I actually had several signals because uh, someone else I knew was trying to avoid their husband. <laughs> Why? Because his energies were, had become very father-like. He had turned from the husband and the lover into the father figure, even to his own spouse. And she was trying to hide and avoid him so she could have a nice day. I bumped into someone about that. I also found a card depicting the old baseball stadium here in Chicago. And when I went to sleep that night, I had to really feel into what did this mean? And the message was brand new childhoods. All of the childhood delights, all of the fantastical things that you dreamed of, 
whether it's playing house, being married, your trips, the things you want, the children you'd really want to create, even children right now where you want them to be the best that they can be. And in the meanwhile, getting rid of all of the Games of Thrones context of we will now kill the king and take over the throne. We don't like the way our father is ruling this. But I remind you about Ivana Trump. Don't get angry, darling. Get everything. Okay, how do you do that? Well, I, start, I started teaching that in my Being in the New Life webinar last June. And my abundance just recently that I just concluded this weekend. The links are down below. I encourage you all, be the beautiful, mighty being that you came here to be without all of this, without all of the parasites and things hanging on you. You don't have to. There is a way. I've created ways. I have several things in there, packed in there, to help you. And beyond that, as you know, this is, this is a pretty high thing that we're doing here. What is it that you wish to do most? A lot of you would like to be in your own private time, in your own intimacy with your own true love. You really don't want a soulmate. That soulmate is not going to bring your abundant flow. At best, it will stagnate on you. It may sometimes seem like it's going backwards. So red flag, because while there are many uh, soulmates who are close vibrations, some of that will begin to feel like a false comfort. You might get more satisfaction that by eating a sheet cake. You might get more satisfaction. And this is, this is what people are seeing out there with their twins who have addictions. The soulmate can't cut it, can't fill, you know, can't fill the vessel. The soulmate can't fill the tank. So then they add other things. They add alcohol, just add alcohol. Woohoo! <laughs> See how fun the childhood is then when you just add alcohol. Wow. Just add marijuana, just add any of the other gazillion drugs out there. Kava, Cambo ayahuasca, anything, anything that you're trying to do to achieve what you're intended to do very naturally through your body. Your body is very sensible. Even your human body will know when the limits are there. Why? Because with yourself all twined up, some of you who may have diabetes can say, oh, something isn't making me metabolize right. I don't know what it is. I don't know where it's from. It runs in my family. Why does it run in your family? What has happened along the lines here? But it will be possible for you to remove what is twining around you and get rid of it and begin functioning and not just functioning, being abundant. So just say no to 3D. Try my stuff. It's really good stuff. This one wound up being about six hours of material. This is a live question and answer, a presentation with great information, several exercises. And I want to tell you about my exercises. These are exercises to help you easily open your channels and release, to help you get your guidance. Not my guidance, because I'm not the boss of your Twin Flame Union. You are. You're in charge of it. You're in charge of making the optimal choices. There's no reason to beat yourself up and say, oh, I would have, should have, could have done this. We've done that for lifetimes, and this is the, this is what we've got. Now, a lot of it has become disentangled. I mean, you can hear just from the way I have to pull this apart how strong and ugh, insidious it is. Look at that. I mean, this is, this is nuts, okay? And yet, I will say to you, there are ways and there are ways. The human way is almost done with because there's only so much you can do as a human being. The rest of it, you have to let the angel parts of you that are resetting, rebooting, possibly have rested and recuperated, Hit the reset button. 
get this thing going again. We are coming up to a solstice here. Time to be who you came here to be. Don't hesitate about it. Don't say, oh, well. Thank you to everybody who joined. Thank you to the people who reached out and wrote to me. I've had a lot of people reach out and let me know that they're together. People are together. Okay? People are together. Their union needs some private time, which is why I don't name names, and which is why sometimes you'll see people fall out of sight. And if someone is with someone who isn't their person, your heart will tell you. You don't need to call them out on it. I know who's who because I feel it. But I'm not in charge of their timing. I'm in charge of teaching things about the body. That's my agreement. That's my agreement. And I believe I do a pretty good job of it. So if you want to check it out, the links are below. As always, here is my website, www.twinflamesmerge.com. And with this um, Mars energy, please know the feminine energy is there too. On this planet, we've got both, and everybody's important. The men, the women, gay twin flame couples, lesbian twin flame couples, transgendered couples who are twin flames, and yes, heterosexual twin flames, because it takes all of that to twine the energies the right way. Your own energies, along with resetting, call it reweaving. Doing it the right way this time, not doing it the tangled up way. You know, and I don't want to get all political. I don't want to get into anyone's religion. A lot of this stuff, there are truths in it. There's also twists and distortions. That's what we're removing, all of the twisty, distorted stuff. So thanks so much for watching. And if you are heading into this weekend, have a lovely weekend. Enjoy your week. Bye.